My name is Sean Lopez. I produce and write for my band Crosses. I also produce and write for other artists as well. Since we're always something that I heard, but I, I come from a guitar background, and uh, but I I had always listened to synth music, whether it be you know Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, you know Kraftwerk. But I really got into making electronic music, uh, really from DJ Shadow. When I hear a synth or a sound on a record and I don't know how it was made, it, it kind of upsets me a little bit because I'm always like, how, what is that sound? Like, how, how do I make that? And how did this person make that, you know? And, and there's, you know, there's always certain artists where like, they will make something and I'll be like, damn, how, what is that, you know? But I, I think really just bring it into the writing process, I think with, especially with crosses, because both Chino and I really respond to sounds and unique sounds. And it might even be an older sound that like, oh, that sounds like the one synth on, on Violator, or, you know, that sounds like uh, some old like Kraftwerk thing, or, you know, and it's sort of, we just sort of build on that when it, when it happens. If Chino be like, ooh, what's that, what's that? And I'll be like, oh, that, that's this one thing right here. And then it just kind of moves from that. And then, you know, and then it's just like chords and, and drums and, you know, all those things. It's funny, there's, there's a new there's a new tune that, that we haven't quite finished yet, but um, I think that it's funny because the, the working title is just, it's called Peak Riff because I made it on the peak. I think I, I sent it to Chino and he was like, yo, what's that? Like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna put something down on that. And then he, he threw a vocal over it, sent it back. And then we keep kind of going back to that. He's like, we gotta get that done. You know, like we gotta get that done. Like, I'm like, yeah, man, it's, let's, let's do it. You know, and, and, and that's like, that was probably about the point when I was like, okay, this, this, this one's a keeper, you know, like this, this sense is like, cause you know, for me, I buy, you know, buy a lot of sense and, and some some come and go, you know, and and they they I feel like they have to earn they have to earn their place in the studio because you know we only have so much room and 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 I think that that was definitely the point where like oh yeah this 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 is this is a keeper you know especially once it was in a place in the studio where it was getting it was easily accessible because a lot of people will come in here and they're like oh well look at all this stuff and then you know that the peaks right here it's just very it's easy it's right there you know i mean especially if you're if you're entering like a synth world and you just have no idea what what a synth even does or you know uh but it's a good starting point and it's a good starting point where you can take that sound and then just start twisting knobs and be like oh okay so that does that and then when you do that all of a sudden you have this new sound and then you save that sound and then that's your sound and i think novation with with the components website uh, is amazing because you, you can take all these presets and preview them of all these you know different artists that have uploaded their presets and you can download them and do the same thing and twist the knob, change this, add a little distortion, you know, put a low pass filter on it and then all of a sudden you have like a new sound and then you save it, you know, and it's just like, for me, it's such a cool thing.